an Apple Watch is a handy gadget that's convenient to wear and basically acts like a mini version of your iPhone. But thanks to its small brain, an Apple Watch doesn't have as much space for apps, music, or whatever as your iPhone does. Plus, swiping through dozens of apps on a tiny screen isn't ideal. And if you accidentally have automatic app install enabled for your watch, you may be needlessly cluttering up your device with all kinds of apps you'll never use on your watch. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada, and if you want to free up space or just make it easier to navigate through all the apps you do use most, you may want to consider deleting unused watch apps. Here's how to do it. First things first, it's useful to know how much storage space you currently have on your Apple Watch. Your watch can not only show your available storage, but also let you know which apps and content are using the most space. Open the watch app on your iPhone, then tap general and about. The app will display all the storage information, including total storage and how much is remaining, as well as the data used by things like music, photos, or apps. To see which individual apps are eating up your storage, go to general, then scroll down to usage, tap on it and give it a sec to load. You can see in order which apps are taking up the most real estate. Now that you can see which apps are taking up the most storage space on your watch, you can decide which ones to delete. And of course, you can always re-download them later if you change your mind. There are a couple of ways to delete apps from an Apple Watch. You can either do it via the Watch app on the iPhone or directly on the watch itself. To delete apps using the iPhone Watch app, open the app and then swipe down until you see Installed on Apple Watch. Find the app you want to remove and tap the name. You'll see a small switch that says Show App on Apple Watch, which you can now switch to off. The app will still appear in your Available Apps section and you can re-download it to the watch by tapping Install at any time. If you want to remove an app directly from the watch itself, the great news is this works just like an iPhone. Press the digital crown to pull up the app cloud or your home screen. Press down on any app icon until they all start to shake and you'll see a little X appear. Just tap it, then press the digital crown to stop the apps from shaking. If you're in list view, scroll through the list until you find the app you want to remove, then swipe it to the left until you see the trash can icon. Tap the trash can and then confirm by pressing delete app when prompted. One big reason why your Apple Watch may run low on storage is because of automatic app installations. This basically means that whenever you install an app on your iPhone, it has a companion Apple Watch version, or I should say if it has a companion Apple Watch version, it'll automatically be dropped onto your Apple Watch too. You can save yourself a lot of time and frustration by shutting this feature off. This means you're in control of how much storage space you have and which apps may be filling up your screen. To do this, open the Watch app on your iPhone and tap General. You should see a switch called Automatic App Install. Just swipe it off and you'll no longer have those automatic downloads cluttering the watch. Later, if you want to manually install an Apple Watch version of an iPhone app, just look for it in those available apps. Creating a clutter-free Apple Watch experience and staying in control of your Apple Watch storage space couldn't be easier. It's just a question of managing which apps you choose to have on your watch and making sure your automatic downloads aren't limiting the space you could otherwise use for more useful content. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and do give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.